All right, well, here's a bit of fun. So for this next, uh, for this next sequence, what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, change from the big tripod that we had here that we were using down to one of these tiny little Manfrotto tripod. And we're gonna get this camera right down on the ground. And the reason I love doing that is for a whole lot of reasons. Firstly, uh, it gives us an amazing perspective. But we are going to pop down uh, right on the ground. There's a pool of water with the jetty, with the jetty in the background. Um, and it's gonna be really nice. Now, the important thing to think about, now I've got this giant, big, heavy recorder on top that we're using to record the screen. So what I need to make sure, and I'm gonna do this before we even get close to going down on the ground. So what I'm doing here is I am just gonna make sure that it's nice and stable. So I've got it locked in. Uh, we're gonna have it pretty flat on the ground. This recorder here weighs quite a bit. So I'm just making sure that it's nice and stable. Yeah, and it feels really good. So once it's bedded down in the sand, it should be fine. Um, we're gonna use the eight mil fisheye again, uh, just for that crazy kind of angle. And we're gonna be able to see some lights from the jetty. And we're gonna spin an orb again. I'm just gonna change the head. We'll get something a little different. Let's go red. Cool. Yeah, this is a huge amount of fun, this head. It's nice and red. It'll be great for the reflection. Let's go get into it. Yes. Okay, here we go. So we're down. So we're down nice and low down here. Uh, I'll put the torch on so you can see. So we've got this. We've got this pool. This is all water down here in front here. And I'm going to pop the camera. I'm, unfortunately, there's all the seaweed here, which is a real shame. But, you know, it could be worse. It adds something, I suppose. All right, so I'm just moving a bit of the sand out the way. And I'm going to get the camera down really low. Settle it into the, settle it into the sand. Take the lens cap off. All right, what do we got here? This is great, actually. I really like this... Um, I really like this spot. Basically, there's a little island here that I can put the tripod on. Fisheye lens, what a huge amount of fun this is. So I've got the camera, I've got the camera right down low. And when I'm looking on the screen, I'm really stoked. I can see the jetty. I don't know how this is gonna look with an orb, but we'll get focused up. Although really fundamentally, the focus distance is about the same as before. Really the only way is just to just to get my butt out there and actually do an exposure. So everything is the same. Three minutes. Um, I've hit record. Let's go do a bit of a spin. F5.6, so my orb tool doesn't want to be too bright, but bright enough to get a cool reflection. All right, so I'm going to walk around the side of the water. I don't want to disturb the water. The great thing is that there's so much on the ground here to find a spot to spin around. I'm just kind of going to just sort of find something. All right, here we go. And I'm hoping, I'm looking at the line to the camera, and I'm hoping we'll get a nice reflection in that water. If not, I'll just come a whole lot closer. 25, I've lost count, 30, 31, 82, all right, I reckon that could be about two minutes, all right, while I'm, while that's going, something to, to remember is that you don't always have to be in the image for as long as the light painting is going to take, even though it's, uh, you know, it's a solid three minute exposure. I'm only in there for 90 seconds doing my thing. And the rest of the time, it's just absorbing light. Okay, here we go. Three minutes, here we go. Whoa, holy shucks. Oh, that's crazy. That's a crazy image. Okay, let's take a look at it. It's down low. I'm getting a bit old. Okay, let's just hit play and just sort of try and digest a bit of this. Okay, so 
So I'm zooming in. Did we get a reflection? Yeah, we got a mega reflection, which is crazy. But it's just too bright. I just think it's too bright. So what we're going to do is too bright. So we're at f5.6. Look, let, for fun. So I'm happy with the brightness of the tool, right? So we're going to stay at f5.6. Let's just take another look. Okay, so what's happening? So what's happening is it feels to me like the orb is kind of compete, trying to compete too much with the lights on the jetty. I'm happy with the angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around to the right a bit. All right. I'm not going to change a lot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change where I'm spinning. I'm going to change where I'm spinning my orb. So I felt a little bit like uh, the ball of light was, com the, the, the lights in the jetty were competing with it too much. So I'm going to move across to the right quite a bit. Okay, so it feels to me a bit like the ambient light is too bright, all right? So when the ambient light is too bright, what do we do? We decrease our exposure time. So I'm going to go from three minutes down to two. And I reckon that might even still be a little bright. F5.6, we're going to stay at ISO 200. I'm going to move to the right a little bit so that the ball of light kind of stands on its own a little bit. We'll see how we go. Two minutes, that's all we're going to change. Okay, let's go. So the shutter's open. Two minutes, let's get out there and get it happening. So I'm going to go to the right a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up I know where I was, I was right over here. So I'm gonna change quite a bit. I'm gonna come all the way to here. I'm gonna put an X in the sand, and here we go. Alrighty, where are we at? One minute. Of course, the nice thing about having a slightly shorter exposure is that we don't have to wait around so much if we're having a bit of fun like this. Let's take a look. Ho-wicker. Okay, it's still really extreme. Okay, it's all a bit, it's all a bit extreme. There's, if we look at that image, it's still really bright. Everything feels a bit hot. I'm just gonna, I've just gone to F9. Let's just dial everything down a bit. It's just, F9 will do that. It'll, you know, the ambient is pretty extreme. The jetty was pretty extreme. So I've gone to F9. We're just gonna just, just bring it back a bit. The moon is very bright. We'll just bring it back and just see what happens. Okay, we're not going to change a lot else. We're just going to F9. Still two minutes. Because that gives me time to spin. Okay, we're open. I am just going to come a little bit more over to the right. I felt like just a touch. Just a touch. Half a meter. I'm just a half a meter over to the right. Here we go. I'm going to concentrate. It was a pretty sketchy spin there. Okay. Here we go, really focusing on the spin. Okay, let's see how that was. Let's see if it was better. Nice, okay, so that's kind of good. F9 has just dialed everything back. Okay, well that was a that was a whole lot better. It, um, F9 is just, what it's done is it's just dialed everything back. It was all a bit extreme, really. Um, the tool, I'm really happy with the reflection. The reflection's mad, actually. It makes for a nice crop as well. Having that beautiful, really wide shot allows us a bit of room to crop in, which is nice. Bit of starburst, if you like that, I suppose. But it's very cool. It's quite still, the wind has died down a bit. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and grab a blade, and we're gonna do some blading in that reflection, which will be a huge amount of fun. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so what we've got is, we've got this blade. It is a, it's a light blade. Uh, it's a light blade Kayo with one of my new, uh, one of my new blades in it. And I've got the remote, I've got a very uh, special remote here. And what that does is because we're going to be doing a two minute exposure, 
I want to be in there and, and I don't want to be fumbling with the start and finish of the blading. So what I do is I, I set the timer on the camera to start for say two seconds. And then what I do is I can see the, I can see the timer starting. I can see it counting down. Three, two, or 12 seconds. I right, three, two, one, then I can start. And then when I decide I want to stop it, I have a button here that I press and that just turns it off. So I go through and I go one, two, three, off. And that's nice and that's much better than fumbling, fumbling for switches and buttons. So this is going to work really well. And uh, this is, so this is a clear blade, as you may or may not be able to see. It's a clear blade. But the edges, I've sanded, get some focus, I've sanded the edges today. So the edges are nice and sanded, uh, so we should get a really nice, I've left the irises open. Now the irises on a Kayo, bit of focus, what the irises are, they're these holes here. And I've left them open, just for shits and giggles, just to see what happens. Uh, it should be fine. I'm not going to change a lot. Let's just get out there, the fish eye's still on. Let's do a bit of an experiment with the blade. Okay, here we go. So I've got the remote. I'm going to change. I'm going to change it to a, a 12 second delay. Okay, so I'm going to set the delay on here to five seconds. So I'm setting the delay on my uh, remote to 10 seconds. So now I'm just going to test that, of course, like we do. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six. Five. Okay, so that should work and it will tell me I can see the light on the top to tell me when it's nine eight seven six five I'm gonna go on medium power grid f9 and three and we're open <laughs> Boom The thing to remember with blades is that less is more <laughs> Less is more. Less is more, and I tend to forget that sometimes. Less is more. All right, let's wait, see how that goes. I reckon a minute could be enough, actually, with this. It's very bright. So see how we go. We'll see how we go in a minute with a minute. I'm just going to manually stop this at a minute. And it gives us a chance to check the blade as well. All right, it's about a minute. Whoa, that is insanely good. Woohoo! God damn. Oh, okay, well, let's take a look at that. Okay, the things I love about it. Look, the things I love about it. I mean, it's a fresh blade. Fresh blades are always great. We're getting some little starburst because the iris is open. But what I want to do is I want to move, I'm going to angle the camera down a little bit so it's further down. Uh, I want to see more of the reflection. I think we're seeing a bit too much sky. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to angle it down a bit. That's it. So I've angled it down a bit. I also think the light painting is a bit... I also, I think the light painting is a bit too bunched up. So I want to, um, I want to move quicker. I want to move quicker through the frame. So I want, I want the light painting to be a bit longer so we can imagine a bit of a panorama. But everything else looks pretty good. I had it, I put it onto half power. So this is low power. This is full power. Oh, you've got to hold it on for a bit. And that's half power. It's happy with the power. Cool. So let's just go again. 10 second delay. I'm going to move a bit further to the side. So I'm going to come. I'm going to come over about here. Okay, so I've started the 10 second. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, and... So I'm just moving quicker through the frame. <laughs> of course, you've got to do the sound effects. I forgot to change the timer. 
Um, I forgot, I forgot to change the timer to a minute. So, we, but the great thing about, of course, the remote, the great thing about the remote is that we can see a minute, which is great. All right, let's wait. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with how that went. It looks really nice. It's a nice blade. Just sanded edges. It's just got, so what I've done is I just sand just sand the edges and it looks really nice and I'll go grab another one in a minute I'll show you something different all right here we are we're close to a minute I might just let it go a bit longer just to let a bit more ambient light in <sighs> big fat moon tonight I'm very happy with that big fat moon all righty here we go so look I've let it go out to about a minute 20 Let's take a look. Yeah, that's so good. Everything I love is in this. Got the jetty, which I love. A killer reflection. Bit of a starburst there, nice movement. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so I'm really happy with that one. That was great, I love it. I love, you know, the movement was good. Blades are all about the wrist. It's all about the wrist, the action of the wrist, right? Oh, it's feeling good. Moon's bright. No wind. The water's kind of still. Let's get into it. I'll see you in a minute. I have. Let's put this on a lower power so you can see. Okay. So what I've done is I've put an orange gel uh, at the base of the blade. And what that does is it pretty much makes the whole blade a beautiful orange color. I've left the irises open because I like those little starbursts. I like those little starbursts that we're getting, but uh, yeah, it just adds a bit of flavor to it. Let's get out there and see how this looks. We're not going to change anything else. We're going to stay at F9, we're going to stay at half power, and let's see how that goes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to stay nice and low. Hey, hey. It's interesting, the water, it's interesting, most of the water, um, most of the water that was, uh, most of the water that was at the base down there with the cameras is almost drained out. So what we're going to do is, we'll have, a, we'll have a look at a couple of these, and then we're going to move, uh, and we'll head down the beach of it and look for some ripples. We'll look for some ripples, I like saying that. If I wasn't such a wuss, I'd take my shoes off and get out in the water. Nice, nice, let's take a look at that. Yeah, I really like that. Just zoom in, everything looks gorgeous. It's a bit of a, it's a fused, oh, lovely. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that one, that's great. And i tell you what I like about it. All righty, it looks great. And i tell you the things I like about it. I love the subtle color. I love the fact it's still a bit translucent. But one of the things I do like about it, and I didn't even really sort of think about this, I just grabbed the first gel that I thought I liked, is that because the sky is blue, and this is orange, we're working in that complementary color space that we talked about. So we've got the complementary colors. So we've got the orange and the blue, a bit of a reflection. You can still see the jetty. It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go and bang out another, another one of these and, uh, and see how it goes. I'll knock a few out and we'll take a look. I'll see you in a minute. Woohoo! All righty. All righty, let's grab this camera. And uh, let's take a bit of a look. All righty, so look, I'm really stoked with some of these. Let's just hit play and take a bit of a look. Um, yeah, I love that last one. I think it's, I think it's great. I love the reflection. There was a, a bit of the water's gone, but that's okay. I don't mind that. We'll zoom in. Starbursts, lovely light, beautiful reflection. We got a bit of cloud coming in too, which I'm really happy about. Cloud's beautiful. I love movement of cloud. It's just great. Let's have a flick back through. Like I'm really happy with the set. Just gorgeous. We got everything we wanted. We wanted those reflections. We've got a white blade. We've got a bit of gold. I think it's gorgeous. I'm really, really, really happy with that as a set. Um, so yeah, that's you know, getting a camera down low really works. You can use all sorts of tripods. I use these little Manfrotto ones here. 
These are great because they're steel. They're all made of steel. I have thrashed these things. They've been down here in the, in the, um, they've been, I'll just stop this recording. They've been down here in the sand for many, many, many years, um, which is great. But uh, yeah, get down low. You can put a, a, you know, you can use all sorts of different tripods to get down low. Um, but yeah, I love that. Get down low. We ended up opening the aperture up quite a bit to all the way out to f9 because it's very bright we've got the lights from the jetty we've got the moonlight so what we want to do now is uh, i really want to staying in this theme of being down low i want to go down i want to try and find some ripples now the tides out on the beach and i want to show you how gorgeous those are um lovely i'll see you in a minute awesome okay here's our three uh pretty awesome images we we took a lot of, i think there were like 14 in total that i brought back from this reflection set uh down at largs but these are the three that we're going to look at uh because they, they represent the three things we were doing one is the orb and the other is the white blade and then the gold blade and as with all of these tutorials uh, pretty much what we're going to do is pick one and then apply those settings to all three now the interesting thing about these is that if we look at um if we look at them, you can see with this one here with the uh, the orb, there was a whole lot of water and then the water was heading out really quickly to the point here where we almost had none, which gives us some pretty horrible sort of reflections uh, on the sand. But let's, uh, let's take a look at this one to start with. Okay, so I'm going to jump in the develop module. Um, as with all of these, I'm just going to grab the horizon and much to many people's horror i'm going to hit auto and look at that boom it just automatically brings us to a really nice place to start i'm going to crop to my 16 by 9. Um, this is my workplace now the interesting thing here look where the horizon sits right in the middle of the image um, we could do this uh, if we're following the rules but we lose some of the reflection and vice versa so bugger it let's just whack the ref whack the horizon right in the middle of the image there um, I'm just going to do what comes natural. I'm going to chuck a bit of contrast in there, I think. I'll, I think putting contrast in there makes the white pop. Um, I'm going to give it some clarity. Now, see what happens when, I, when we bring clarity in. It starts overexposing the highlights. And we can see our red highlight warnings in here. Uh, so I'm just going to dial the highlight slider back a touch and reduce the exposure a bit. To about here, I love the blue sky. The moon always makes the sky blue. Um, I'm going to put a put, pop a bit of a vignette on there, like so, because what a vignette does, you don't want too much to make it look obvious. A vignette will bring it in and let us focus on the image. Um, chromatic aberration, I do that by habit. Now, here's an interesting thing. There is this red down here. Now, that is a lens flare. Look, you know... I tend not to add or remove pixels. You can choose to remove that or not. You would, we would grab the clone tool. We might just pop it on there and take it out like that. That's up to you. I tend not to do that. Now, here's a cool thing. This image is a little noisy. We were at, uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's grainy. I like it. I love that feeling. You don't need to remove it if you don't want to. But always remember, if you do decide, we're going to come down here, remove some noise. All right, I'm going to go to half. Cool. So it's removed some noise. But watch this. When I take the noise slider, noise reduction back, we get all that lovely shape in the light back. But if you do decide to do some noise reduction, do some sharpening as well. Remember, our option masking slider brings us back to just sharpening the edges. We don't want to sharpen the sky. I really like that image. You know, the seaweed is a bit distracting in the foreground here. Um, here's our other image. So what I always do uh, in this instance, when the settings are basically the same as I uh, select our image number two, shift, click onto three, sync, select all in this case. And then we click over. Look at that. It's pretty bang on. I wouldn't change a lot there. Obviously, the highlights. See down here, we've got all the horrible highlight stuff. You know, you can dial the highlight slider all the way down, take a bit of exposure out if you want. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Shift, click, 
sync, why not? Sync them all. Bam. Now, this is an interesting one. It's all a bit, remember we were saying it was all a bit crazy. Also, the crop, we changed the position of the the thing. Now, remember, this is a fisheye lens, so you're going to get that wonky horizon. I wouldn't even, I'm not going to bother trying to straighten that. It's all a bit over on the, the, the tool here, although that is this particular head. You know, we can dial the exposure back a bit if you like. Cool. I like those three. We've got a bit of lens flare here. I don't mind that. You know what we could do on this one just for fun is give it some clarity. A bit of a clarity slider. You can even dehaze just to make it a bit grungier. Cool. And there's our three images. All tweaked. Super happy. My favorite, this one here. I love this image. I think it's gorgeous. Alrighty. There's a quick bit of a uh, post-process on these three images. Super happy. Thank you. Bye. Hope you enjoyed this visit to the school of like don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll be adding videos all the time head over to the light painting tool shop at the website there's a huge array of tools i've made there for you to take on your light painting journey